Hi, this is Stuart from Mogwai, and you're listening to AU Radio. But, you know, it's that, that whole collector idea of the album, and when you first formed the band, there was no Napster, there was no yeah. iTunes. It was like people were still lining up and buying records for CDs at that yeah. point, the, the vinyl. Um, are, you, are you surprised at all that vinyl has kind of come back as a collector's item, or is that felt, does that kind of feel natural? Uh... I'm, it's been quite surprising, to be honest. I didn't. Uh, I thought. I thought it would kind of fade away, but I, th- I think people. It, it exemplifies how people kicking against music being devalued. It's, it's a way of people kind of holding music as something precious. So I think it's a good thing. I think it's that thing, like when the cassette first came in, it was that idea that the radio is going to die because now people can just record whatever they want whenever they want on cassette. Um, so. That didn't happen, so maybe the whole resurgence of vinyl makes sense. It's just it was a cyclical. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I still think music's a bit undervalued, but it's good. It's good that some people are kind of not not letting that happen. So undervalued. I mean, it's you know from from even live music. You know, it's mm. like people just want to. You know, they'll pay ten bucks for a beer, but they won't you know pay ten bucks to get into a gig. Yeah. And um, you know that's a problem we have in Australia. Yeah, this is a worldwide <laughs> malaise. <laughs> uh, but speaking of uh, paid concerts, you're coming back to Australia. Your first headline shows in some six years. Yeah. Uh, you know, what's, what have your past experiences been like in Australia? We've had some amazing times in Australia. Um, yeah. It's one of these things because it's the other side of the world. I think, like, people appreciate that you've came. And also, you, you kind of feel a bit of pressure to have good shows and yeah we're, we're definitely looking forward to coming back and the, the last time you were there there was the harvest festival which i think flaming lips were on as well that year <laughs> so. we play a lot of shows with the flaming lips it's good do you get to hang around and watch them or you oh yeah well, i'd always watch them not this weekend but yeah. yeah always try and watch them when i can <laughs> have you ever wanted have you ever gone out in a ball into the crowd have you ever wanted to do that i think i'm too claustrophobic i don't <laughs> I don't think I could handle being at the ball. There's like, when you, when you watch him do that though, you've just never seen a man that old look that young. Yeah. Like, just so happy. <laughs> yeah. I think age is, people are as old as they want to be, <laughs> or as right. young as they want to be. That's right. When you get up on stage, do you still feel like you did 20 years ago? Yeah. I feel the exact same. That's got to be good. Yeah, until I lean down and pick up a beer and it <laughs> takes me five minutes to get back up. <laughs> but the beer, drinking the beer on the way up helps. Yeah, that's true. Thumbs the bank. That's true. <laughs> has, has the way that you make music changed? Uh, it has a bit because of technology, but... And your own studio now as well. Yeah. Not drastically. I mean, they're really just... Just in some technical ways, but... The essence of it's the exact same. And uh, kind of that comes across with the latest record, I think, as well. You know, you can you can hear remnants of, of that we heard, you know, 15 Yeah, years ago. I'm sure. Yeah, definitely. Has that ever, have, have you ever kind of only got maybe not maybe you haven't finished a track as a remnant mm-hmm. of the track, and maybe you've revisited it like three albums later, or has that ever happened? Um, really, only once or twice. I think like. Some of the songs on the Zidane soundtrack were older ones, but I think that's the only time we've done it. Usually, if it doesn't work, we just forget about it. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Your mind's in a very different place 10 yeah. years later, yeah. musically. And what excites you musically now? Oh, loads of stuff. Um, and we've got our own label, so I get excited about new things coming out. There's a new Blank Mass record, new Errors record, and yeah, just other new albums people people put out and discovering old records too yeah i'm always listening to music fantastic well really appreciate your time can't wait to see you in australia in um uh, january february or february march february march february march well looking forward to seeing you then and um enjoy the rest of your time here in hong kong wicked thanks man